Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of them, Yahweh Shai. Worship the Mosai, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's why we're here to do through the spirit when we come across news articles that, you know, is speaking loud to us through the spirit family. We bring it to share with you. That's the time that we are living in. Like Yahweh Shai himself says, says what? For the testimony of Yahweh Shai, this is what the revelation is saying. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's how we're here to prophesy, family. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, honor and glory to our power, Yahweh. This is all about him. This is all about giving him the praise and the glory because family, before it happens, he tells us of it. And he indeed gets the glory and he gets the honor and he gets the power, the praise. And family, he did something that no power out there can do for us. There's no other power. What am I saying? He gave us his only begotten son, our redeemer, our savior. The root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the king of kings, the lord of lords. The beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to you and your loved ones. Today is April 3rd, 2022. The turning up of our Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We know that the days are very near. It is over, family. It is over for these nations. It is over. The Lord has said, He has set a bound for them. Yes, they can pass it. That's Job 14.5. They can pass it. That's why nothing is working for them. Family, nothing is working for them. And that's why we are here to give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Shai. Family, the fact that the sanctions that they put on Russia, family, they thought that would be it. They were about to destroy Russia. <laughs> they said what? If you want the Lord, Yahweh, to laugh at you, tell him exactly what you want to do. Eh? This is his will. He wrote the script, gave you your part. He gave you your part. Now you think you know better than the director. Telling the director, no, I want this thing to move this way. And I want it to move that way. It doesn't work like that. Nothing is working for these nations. Now they're going to be uprising. Because why? They can't afford to hit their homes. That's right. The nation that you sanctioned. Family, they, sleep, they are sleeping well. They have heat in their homes. But what? But you that put the sanction on this uh, on Russia, you now you can put gas in your car. You see, this is how the Lord works. You have no control of what is happening around you. Eh? There's no such thing as free will. No. Again, like I always bring it up, Proverbs 21, verse 1, it tells you, the king's heart is in the hands 
of the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and like the rivers of water, He turn it whichever way He wants. It is not you. They can put all the sanctions on Russia, but at the end of the day, the Lord. The Lord said he will do his pleasure. Family, I have three articles. I have three articles. Came across one actually today and two was yesterday. But family, this is just the perfect time to bring it out. But first, I want to give honor and glory again to our power because he says his counsel shall stand. Let's go to Isaiah 46.10 quickly, family. Isaiah 46, 10. Isaiah 46. Let's bring it up, family. Let's get it. Let's get it. Isaiah 46, 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning. Eh? The end. The end of something. From the beginning. So before this place goes down, he tells you. From the beginning, family. That's what the prophets have done. They declare the end of this current system. This is what the Lord is telling you. He says, before be declaring the end, Isaiah 46, 10, declaring the end from the beginning. And from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel, my counsel, whatever I wish, okay, shall stand and I will do all my pleasure, cancel his commandment. Whatever he says is going to happen, his decrees, family, it is going to happen. He says, I will do all my pleasures. This is the Lord. All oh, my pleasure. Oh, that's power right there. So now let's get the article, family. Let's go right into it. And I hope, family, you are edified when it's all said and done. The first one, I have three articles. This is from China. This is today, April 3rd, 2022. China mocks USA's demand. Oh, family. The book says what? Let's go to actually, you know what, family? We're just flowing through the spirit, eh? So, listen, it pops in my head. I got to bring it up. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus 25.7. Ecclesiasticus chapter 25. Verse 7, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. Listen to this. A man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth, to see the fall of his enemy. He that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. This is what is happening to this nation. The whore that sit on many waters, America, Babylon, the great family, these nations are standing up against him. We see in the fall of Babylon the Great. That's right. The eagle family, they are very proud. But family, I'm here to tell you, it's not China or Russia or Sri Lanka or Singapore or South America or South Africa, sorry. It's going to take over. When America goes down, it is Yahweh Shai's kingdom along with his elect, the first fruit. Yes, this is part of the movie. These nations are going to duke it out and we're going to sit back and watch the movie. And when it's all said and done, the Lord said what? They're going to translate the kingdom from one people to the other. Since I, I quoted it, family, I, will, I must well bring it up. Because, uh, family, we're just going through the spirit table of content. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus. I think it's 10.8. I may be wrong. Oh, here, right there. Oh, Barakate, how about Hashem, Yahushua? It says, well, here, it says, because of unrighteous dealings 
Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit. How do you think these people made all this money? They are riches. Here he's telling you, he says, and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. There's nothing to add to that. Family, let's go. China, this I came, this I came across this on RT news. China mocks U.S. demand. Beijing posted a cartoon suggesting Washington wants to bulldoze Beijing into taking its side on Ukraine. Beijing has mocked Washington's pressure to make China make a side in the Ukrainian conflict. To make China take a side. What am I saying? Jesus. It said Beijing has mocked Washington's pressure to make China take a side, take a side in the Ukrainian conflict. Claiming is just a thinly veiled threat. Listen to this. In a caricature posted on Twitter by Foreign Ministries spokesperson Zhao Lenjian on Saturday, a dark human figure is pictured with a gun held to its head by a hand painted in the U.S. flag's colors. The caption overhead reads, Take my side. According to the Chinese diplomat, this is exactly what the U.S. means when a precious order to take side. Family, that's the caricature that they posted on Twitter. Can you tell me or bring to my attention any time in history where these nations had the... Um, Oh, the word that I want to use. Not even the audacity, but in the I will use audacity. To stand up to America. Family. America and the European Union are the laughing stock of the world. Because family, this is the work of our power, Yahweh Hashem. He is taking off the veil of this people. He is taking the veil of the rest of the nation. And they are seeing what America and his allies are all about. Family, this is just the beginning. We know how America was built, the foundation of America. We know how they got the land, family. We knew, we know who were living on this land before they came here. That was the northern tribe. God, our brothers and sisters, the so-called Native American, the so-called Indians. Yes, that's not their name. But this is the veil that the Lord is about to remove. Family, the veil, the veil, the veil, the veil. It's about to take the covering veil, family. Let's go to Isaiah 25, verse 6. Straight to the point, family. Isaiah, oh, Isaiah 25, verse 7. And he, the Lord Yahweh, will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast of over all people. Let me repeat that again. Isaiah chapter 25, family, listen up. Verse 7, it says, and he will, he is Yahweh, will destroy in this mountain, meaning what? This nation. This government, okay, the face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. So family, when somebody spreads something over your eyes, guess what? What is it? It's what? You cannot see properly, right? 
the lies is also part of the darkness that these nations are living through. You see, the names like I am Portuguese, I am Italian, I am Serbian, I'm Russian, I am African, I am a, a Brazilian, I am Argentinian. Family, all those names were created by Esau Edom. But family, the Lord is about to remove all that. When they came back into what? They, when they came back into power in the 13, 1400, the Renaissance family, that's when all these people were created. No. When these nations, when these lands, family, do you know that the book says what? They named the lands after themselves. America. Name after what? Amerigo Vespucci. Africa. It's named after what? Africanos. Family, the Lord says here, he's about to what? Remove the covering cast. Hey? The truth is coming out. And they can hide. Family, this is the Lord's movie. Before he brings them down, family, he systematically breaking them apart. The entire world is fooled. I am half this, I am half that. I'm half German, I'm half Italian. No, you are what your father is, the seed. You are who, whoever your father is, that's what you are, family. It's in the Bible. You read the Bible, it says the son of this, the son of that, the son, yeah, that's how it goes, family. But the Lord is about, is slowly removing the veil of these countries. Nobody's afraid of America anymore. They are not afraid of America anymore, family. For China to stand up, make fun of America on op social media, open forum, family, it goes to show you what the Lord is doing. This is the Lord's movie. We are living in a beautiful time, family. Like Ecclesiasticus said, the joy to see the fall of your enemy. We know what it did to us. The West Coast of Africa was loaded with all the slave ship. They made money. Now all of a sudden everybody's apologizing for the past. Why? Because they know the what, what they know what time it is. Nothing is working for them anymore. Family, I'm gonna put this is a it's not a long article, but uh I have a few more articles that I wanna I want to touch and uh, we we're going to and then uh, we're going to wrap it up. So let's move on to the next article, which is uh, I think it's EU sanction. I think I have it somewhere here. Um, here. So here, this guy here, this was also this was actually the one I came across yesterday. EU has sanctioned itself. UK, United Kingdom ex-diplomat. Europe can't replace Russia oil and gas supplies no matter how much the U.S. and Qatar pony up. By sanctioning Russia without a plan for replacement fuel, the European Union may have hurt itself more than Moscow in its drive to punish Russia over its invasion of Ukraine, former British diplomat Alastair Crook told RT family the Lord said what my counsel will stand and I will do all my pleasure all these nations were falling on each other to see who is going to punish Russia the most the family now who is suffering Family, this is not normal. This is the power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, he is the one controlling this. 
That's why I said, if you want the Lord to love, tell him exactly what you're going to do. You have no clue the power that we call upon. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, he's going to get the glory. Here, family, let's continue. It says, NATO's economic attack on Russia has split the world powers into two separate spheres. Family, you listen to this quote here. It says, NATO economic attack on Russia has split the world powers into two separate spheres. End quote. Crook explained on RTs going underground on Saturday. Family, majority of these nations are walking away from the U.S. dollars. Family, do you know the impact? What is going to happen? Like I said, I tell everybody, America is not going to go down without fighting. Every nation before the next one comes in, family, is, is, it's always been bloody. Oh, yes, this is what is coming. They're not going to take this lightly. If it means war, they are going for it. Oh, yes. And they know that. Everybody is preparing. Revelation. Let me get it. Let me get it. It just pops in my spirit. Family, let's go to the book of Revelation. Revelation. Mm, Revelation 16 or 17, I think. 16. Verse, Revelation chapter 16. Sorry, Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns, family, when EU, actually EU, when it was formed in 1957, it was EEC. It was economic, European Economic Community. So it had six members at that time. And by 73, it became ten members. That's the one we call today EU, European Union. So here, the ten horns. It says, and the ten horns, which is EU. Like I said, when it was formed, it was six, but it became ten. This is what um, John the Revelator saw here. It says, which thou sawest upon the beast, they shall hate the whore. The whore is America. So family, they, America is leading these sanctions, leading all this NATO. Family, Europe is just a vassal state for America. Because they have no voice. Whatever America says, they do it. But here the book is saying what? This shall hate the whore. The, the whore family, America. America is the one sitting on them. Directing them. Telling them what to do. You are living. You are across the Atlantic Ocean. And you telling these people that have to. have uh, their neighbors practically. That's right. America is on the other side of the world. But they determine everything that happened in Europe. Let's get it. It says, and the ten horns, which is EU, which thou sowest upon the beast, this shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Family, eventually, the missiles are going to be reversed. The same nations will attack America. It is coming. Because family, everything that they have done so far has failed. And guess who made those decisions? America made those decisions. So when you go to the grocery stores and then you can't afford a loaf of bread because guess what? 70% of the grains come from Russia and Ukraine. Now you can't afford it. You have to feed your kids. Guess what is going to happen, family? They're going to be farming. People are going to lose their jobs. They say what? When people, when you have nothing to lose, what? You lose it all. Verse 17, it says, For the Most High Yahweh have put it in their hearts to fulfill His will. What did I say again? He says what? His counsel shall be what? Yeah, it shall be done. Here yeah, the Lord is telling you, says, For the Most High have put it in their heart. The Most High have put it in their heart to turn around and what? And take down America. Oh, yes, family, it is coming. That's what the book is saying. It says, For the Most High have put it in their heart to fulfill His will. It's not your will. It's not your auntie's will. It's not your dad's will, your brother's will. It is the Most High's will. You have no saying in this. That's why I said, if you want the Lord to love, tell them exactly what you want to do. 
It says a man's going is of the most high. How would a man then know his own way? If you're going, he's the one directing you. Family. Society is always preaching, oh, do as thou will, you know. Yeah, you can do whatever. No, 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 no. If the Lord wants you to cross that street and get smoked by a car, guess what? He did it. He wanted it to be done. He says, I formed the light and create what? Darkness. I made peace and create evil. And he also tells you that there are spirits created for vengeance. Do you want me to go through them? Death, destruction, famine, fire. These are all the spirit created for vengeance. He said they are on the planet. And when they are ready, oh yes, they go all out for the one that created them. Who is Yahweh? So there's no such thing as a free will. It says, verse 4, uh, Revelation 17. Verse 17 says, For the Most High have put it in their hearts to fulfill His will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of the Lord shall be fulfilled. And family, and the woman who, is a, who thou sowest is the great city. That's right. Which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Tell me, is India ruling over the kings of the earth? No. Let's actually, let's try this. How about Kenya? Is Kenya ruling over the, the kings of the earth? No. Maybe it's Ghana that's ruling over the kings of the earth. No. Family, there's only one nation that have over 850 army bases across the world. These are the ones that we know of. And it's America, the great city, the great whore. The woman that thou sowest, Revelation 17 verse 18, and the woman which thou sowest is the great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. A European Union, they have no say. Whatever America wants, they vote on that. That's why two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, Biden was in what? Was in Europe. Rally, rallying everybody to continue pouring the sanctions on who? On Russia. But guess what? It's failing. Russia ruble initially pre, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, pre, uh, uh, what is it called? War in Ukraine. We would, if you want to call it war. Or military, uh, uh, what's, what's, what's the word they're using right now? Military action or whatever. Just prior to that, the ruble fell heavily. That's why they thought this was going to destroy the economy. But it has rebounded. And it's even doing better than the dollar. And the dollar is losing its strength. Because these nations are now forming alliance. Trying to find a way to avoid the U.S. dollar totally. To just literally erase the U.S. dollars from their trades. And this is what is happening. That's why America is not going to sit down and take it. But family, the Lord has set a bound. Job, 9, Job 14, 5. They cannot pass it. Their time has come. Yes, and the kingdom is about to be translated. To Yahweh Shai, our Redeemer, our Savior. And we pray that we are part of His kingdom. Family, let's get, let's continue with the article. Sorry, I went off a bit there. Here it goes. Where am I? It says, He argued that by completely decoupling the price of commodities from the US dollar, sanctions on Russia have essentially. Dynamited the credibility of the fiat currency system. And Brussels has made the wrong move by rushing forward to bludgeon Russia with sanctions and without lining up a backup source of fuel. Family, you want to laugh. You want the Lord to laugh at you. You tell him exactly what you, you want to do. This is what they wanted to do, destroy America. 
sorry, destroy the sorry, destroy the Russia economy. And now, guess who is paying for it? This is why you have to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But these people here, no, they don't think about the Lord. They think they know better than the Lord. But they forget the man that gave them breath. It's not your will. You didn't wake up this morning because of something. You help your mother or your father out. No. It's because of the mercies of our power. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's why you were able to wake up this morning. In many ways, Europe has not sanctioned Russia. It has sanctioned itself. <laughs> you listen to this? Crook said, pointing out that the conflict in Ukraine is essentially being paid for by $100 billion in EU funds previously sent to Moscow to pay for fuel. And the Western Europeans cannot get gas from anywhere else that will substitute for Russia gas by cutting itself off without lining up a backup. The continent has signed its own death warrant as citizens will have a difficult time surviving under double-digit inflation without critical commodities like fertilizer and certain types of food, he continued. I don't see any sign that Europeans gave any thought to the strategic consequences of what they were doing. Crook observed, suggesting the favor to take down Russia had eclipsed its common sense. The EU gets 40% of gas from Russia, while the US offer of liquefied natural gas will only cover 4% of its needs, and Qatar cannot supply the remainder. Family, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is the work of our power family. The kingdom. You are seeing it slowly collapsing. What do you think these nations are going to do now? They've been taking advice from America all these years. And now it's, start, it's starting to affect them. Eh? This is not about going to war in Iraq eh? or Libya. All the places that they've just... No. Now you can't put food on your table. You can't pay your gas bill. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. So things are about to. Yeah. Things are about to be reversed. Family. It's about to take a wicked turn. And family. They are not going to recover. Because this is the beginning. Of the end of their kingdom. Because again. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Verse 8, because of unrighteous dealing, injuries and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. They have no control over this. This is the will of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. That's the one that we fear. This is the one that we give credit to. Family, this article, Lord willing, I will put it all in the description box and you can read them if you choose to. And this is the last one, family. This is coming from Germany. I love this article. It says, Ukraine conflict makes German poorer. Finance minister of Germany. This is what he is saying. Christian Lindner acknowledged that the government can't offset this loss in prosperity. Germans are already paying a price for Russia's military campaign in Ukraine. The country's finance minister has acknowledged. Speaking to Blade ta Tabloid newspaper, Christian Lindner said that the Ukraine war is making us all poor, for example, because we have to pay more for imported energy. But family, I thought this whole sanction was to, uh, to cripple Russia and destroy them. You see, this is the movie. This is the work. This because Russia, like I always go back, Russia is going to play a major part in the Second World War. 
The third world war. What am I saying? The third world war. Family, let's prove that. Let's go. Let's go. Family, this is... Uh, <laughs> this word here, the word, the word, the word of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Family, you can compare this book to any other book. Hmm? Let's go to the book of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter... Is it 37? No. I think it's 30... It is 38, 7, 37. No, I think it's 38. 38, 7. Straight to the point, family. Actually, let's pick it up from, it says, let's pick it up from 5. It says, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Goma and all his bands. Goma, that entire region, the entire Russia region there. Okay, if you look at the map, that region. Russia is going to get all some of those nations back. Family here, it says, Togoma of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Oh, this country, Iran, family here. Iran right now, Iran, China, uh, South America, sorry, South Africa, Argentina, I believe, and Brazil, family, all these nations are coming together. Oh, and India, I forgot India. They all form an alliance with Russia. And family, listen to this. Verse 7, this is the point. Verse 7, this is the point, family. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, meaning Russia. And all thy company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a guard unto them. It's Russia that's going to lead this nation. Russia is going to guard them. Going to be a big brother to this nation to take down the beast. America and its allies. And it's coming. That's what the book says. And you already seen it slowly. It's gonna start economically. The family, oh yeah, the war is coming. The third world war, they can't get it, get it away from it. Because it says it. It says it in Revelation eleven four. Let's bring it. Eleven four. It says what? Eleven fourteen, I think. It says here, the second war is past, which is the sec third, uh, the third world war. Second world war. The second war. The second war is past. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. Remember, Apostle uh, um, John the Revelator talked about what? Three wars. Actually, is it is it three wars? Yeah, he mentioned three wars. Let me... Um, uh, I think it's Revelation 6. Let's go to Revelation 6 quickly. Is it? It says, whoa, whoa, whoa. He mentioned three wars. Okay, let's Google this. Somewhere in Revelation, mention three words. Revelation 8.13. Let's go. Revelation 8.13, family. Sorry about that. So Revelation 8.13, it says, And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. Am I reading this? It says, Third word, what am I reading here? Please bear with me. What did I do here? It says, it says Revelation. One war is passed, and behold, there come two wars more after. Yeah, that will do. Yes. So it's three world war. As it says, one war is passed. This is Revelation 9, 12. It says, one war is past, which is the first world war. And behold, there come two wars more after. And then you can link it up with uh, Revelation 11, 11, 14, where it says, it says the second war. Sorry. It says, 
the second war is past. That's the same. The Revelation chapter 11 verse 14 says, The second war is past. I mean the second world war. And behold, the third war cometh quickly. That's the third war. This is the war to end all wars. Because after this, that's it. Yahweh Shah is making his entrance. That's it. It's in the midst of this world war. That's when Yahweh Shai, our Lord, our Redeemer, is going to stand up for the children of Israel. The family. Let's continue with the article. Sorry about that. Um, here, it says, In an interview published on, the, on Sunday, this is the last article, family, and then we're wrapping it up. In an interview published on Sunday, the German minister went on to admit that the government cannot offset this loss in prosperity. Adding on more positive note, however, that the authorities were working to cushion the biggest shocks. The current state of affairs in the national economy is giving Linhier serious concerns. He admitted, citing sagging growth and rising prices. The minister reassured journalists that the government is doing all it can to avoid the threat of so-called stag stagflation. Family, I will also put this in the uh, description, but I'm not going to read the entire thing. But family, you got the point, you know. So this sanction, the sanction that was supposed to destroy Russia's economy, is destroying their economy. And actually, Russia's ruby, uh, ruble right now, every nation wants to buy it now. That's the time that we are living in. But like I said, America is not going to go down without fighting. So prepare yourself mentally. Know that this is the condition of the battle mentioned in Ecclesi uh, what is it called? Uh, I believe it was 2nd Ezra 57. 57. 2nd Ezra. Let's get that quickly. 2nd Ezra. <clears throat> is it 7? 57. Yes, it says here, then answered him, he, me, and said, this is the condition of the battle, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Family, we are going through this, or we are all going through it, because remember the Lord says what? Through much tribulation, much tribulation, look up that word tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So yes, we all got to go through it. But just believe and have faith that the Lord is going to keep you through it. He's going to protect you. Eh? He's putting us, all of us, through the fire. But family, we know what is coming for us. We know what is coming for us through the Spirit. We know. Like the Lord says, eyes have not seen or ears have not heard what the Lord, Yahweh, have prepared for those that love Him. So we are going to win. Regardless, we are winning. We have already won. We have the truth. We have the true name. Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. What else do you need? But it's just a beautiful thing to see. Finally, the prophecies are just jumping off the pages to see these things happening in our lifetime. We give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, for not forgetting us, for blessing us with this truth, for giving us his name, which is a strong tower. And the righteous run to it and save. How did we run to it? Here we have these precepts. And we have the we have we have the precept. We have the light. Eh? This is here. That's all we need, family. That is the tower that we have. Dear, this thing here, family, it puts food on your table, roof over your head, eh? Sound mind, healthy body, family. This is our rest. This is where we find our rest through the precept. The fact that all these things are happening around us and family, we can open a page and boom, there it is. What else can you ask for? The kingdom is already in your heart. Now it's going to be manifested when Yahweh Shai comes. All praise, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for not forgetting us. Shalom, family. Shalom.